It's time for Song of the Week. Let's take a drive down south and visit with her friend Steve Talbert. Back in October of 2017, I wrote a song entitled Turpentine. The song is a dark song. It's about a creepy, shadowy, social outcast kind of guy. The narrator of the song is really haunted by this fictional character in the song whose nickname becomes Turpentine because of his appearance. It's a storytelling song. As I've said here in the past on Song of the Week, I really like storytelling songs and I like to leave some intrigue and mystery within these songs. And this song, this uh, tune is no different. Steve does the entire song. Instead of singing it, he talks it and tells the story of Turpentine and in fact, he videos himself in the dark, so it aligns with the story of uh, Turpentine, and you'll just have to listen to it. I'm going to cut my remarks short because it's a lengthy uh, production that he put together for this song and allow you the opportunity to listen to it and see what your interpretation of it is. Appreciate your time. Appreciate you joining us again here on Song of the Week. And until next time, take care. Darkness became his ally, his closest friend. Once he embraced it, he was never seen or heard from again. Some say he's buried up on Pepper's Hill. But I tend to believe he's still alive and probably always will. His mother died in childbirth and he was raised in his grandmother's home. He was kind of funny. You know, one of those things that you can't quite put your finger on. His name was Lester, but we all called him Turpentine. Cause his face looked like a lemon, and he smelled funny most of the time. Well, he was bigger than all the rest of us boys. 12 years old. Well, once when he was in a fight with Tommy, he knocked him out cold. There's no telling what he was capable of when he would get mad. Obscurity and darkness were the only friends that Turpentine had. I don't believe I'll ever forget the only time I ever saw him grin. It was that day that Peggy was dared to wink at him. Then all the girls laughed. And pointed as his smile faded away. And I sent something sinister and evil. 
in our classroom that day. Then the girls saw what he had been doing at school and they run and told Mr. Burns. He got sent home and was told to uh, never return. I guess his grandma didn't care since she never tried to change Mr. Burns' mind. Seems to be the case with everything when it came to turpentine. When his grandma disappeared and no one ever saw her again, We all suppose he had stayed in that dark house that both of them lived in. But when it burned down in 58, no body or bones ever found. And the mystery of both of their whereabouts was the talk of the town. A lot of bad things, strange things have happened since all those years ago. And now I've recently heard they found a girl's body down by a peddler's cove. I had that same feeling I did that day in class. When I heard what was found in her hair, I knew that one time or another old turpentine had to be there. Darkness became his ally. And closest friend. Once he embraced it, he was never seen or heard from again. 